Okay, you little Neanderthals. As you're all aware, Mark Bergevin is out. Jeff Gordon is in. He's the new vice president here. A GM is going to be named, but we all know that Jeff Gordon is the big guy. It all happened so fast, it kind of left some of us scratching our heads wondering who the hell this guy is. Should I even trust this guy? Habs fans, they kind of got a little bit of that stranger danger thing going on right now. And in this video, I'm going to break down some of the biggest moves that Jeff Gordon has made. And maybe when we're done here, you're feeling a little more comfortable with the guy. Maybe you'll even let him around your kids. Or even trust him with our good pal John Lou. But first, before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs, or you just want to see Jeff Gordon rip Brock Lesnar's head off in an octagon, then please consider subscribing to my channel, as I upload a ton of hockey content, and would really enjoy having some more of you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, the new sheriff, Jeff Gordon. This guy left his mark on a couple of organizations, one of them being the Boston Bruins and the other being the New York Rangers. Hopefully, a few years from now, we get to add Montreal to that list because I must admit, I do have some faith in this guy. And maybe after this video, maybe some of you guys will too. So let's take a trip down memory lane here and see exactly what this guy is capable of. You see, remember all this stuff? Yeah. Years and years of humiliation and getting beaten up by the big bad Bruins. Well, we can actually blame a lot of this stuff on Jeff Gordon. Because back in 2006, the Bruins, they weren't looking so good, alright? Actually, you know what? Let's not downplay it here. They were shit. They only finished that season with 74 points in the Eastern Division. They decided to part ways with general manager Mike O'Connell and Jeff Gordon stepped in as interim general manager for a grand total of four months. And it's actually unbelievable what this guy managed to sit the Bruins up with in this short amount of time. We've all heard lots of praise being thrown Jeff Gordon's way for his drafting and in 2006 we get a prime example of what this guy is capable of. Gordon stepped up to the plate for the Bruins as the temporary GM, and the first thing that he did at the draft was take Fel Kissel with the fifth overall pick that year. Fel Kissel, three time 80 point player, one time 90 point player, 10 time hot dog eating champion, would go on to have quite a career for himself. Then, just because, you know, Gordy's not done, in the second round of this very same draft, Gordon would also select none other than Milan Lucic. That's right. And I wonder what team passed up on Lucic right before. Ha <laughs> ha shit, look at that. Montreal actually selected right before the Bruins did in the second round, and they took the, uh, the infamous Ben Maxwell. Maxwell by name, Max very well by reputation. Ben Maxwell, of course, didn't do Jack Diddley squat for Montreal. Meanwhile, we all know what Milan Lucic became for the Bruins. And a little side note here, can you imagine the butterfly effect that would have taken place had Montreal actually selected Milan Lucic with their second round pick here instead of Ben Maxwell? Jeez! Now, moving on, you see, Gordon wasn't just done here yet either. He just so happened to have one more horseshoe up his ass at this draft, and after hitting a home run in rounds one and two, Gordon would trade his way up in round three by giving the New York Islanders a couple of picks later in the draft. And with this third round pick, Gordon and the Bruins selected super rat Brad Marchand. What an insane draft year this was for Jeff Gordon. And all I know is his work with the Bruins alone leaves me kind of optimistic. If this guy has any more draft tricks up his sleeve or horseshoes left up his ass, I want somebody to find them and I want to see it happen in Montreal. As for some other moves that Gordon made outside of the draft in 2006, he would trade Andrew Raycraft to the Toronto Maple Leafs for Tuka Rask, who, you know, kind of became a big deal, wouldn't you say? And he would also sign Zidane O'Chara as a free agent during that summer as well. Again, only four months as interim GM of the Bruins and this guy somehow set the Bruins up for years. I'm not saying he's going to come into Montreal and do this in a couple of months here, or even a couple of years, but there's a reason why this guy is so well respected when it comes to scouting talent, 
And when you take a look at the Habs first round picks over the years, I mean, God, they could sure use some of that. Anyway, Peter Shirelli Spaghetti would eventually be named the general manager of the Boston Bruins. And when he got there, thanks to Gordon, he was already in cruise control and would eventually go on to win a Stanley Cup. So that was the mark that Gordon left on the Bruins during his time there. Now let's move on and take a look at some of the best moves that the Gordonator made during his time with the New York Rangers. Starting things off, let's take a look at the signing of unrestricted free agent Artemi Panarin. Yes, Panarin signed with the Rangers and yes, Jeff Gordon threw the piggy bank at him to get him to sign, but you gotta admit Panarin has been worth every penny for the Rangers so far and his contract is set to expire at the age of 34, meaning that while he's under this lucrative contract, he's gonna be playing in his prime years. Gordon was also a big fan of trading Ryans for Ryans. He was jealous of other Ryans around the league. He just so happened to have a Ryan Spooner on his roster until one day the Ryan fiasco reached a boiling point and Gordon traded away his very own Ryan Spooner for a newer Ryan, a younger Ryan in Ryan Strom. This would also turn out to be a pretty awesome deal for the Rangers as Spoonman is now in the KHL trying to stay relevant, you know, trying to stay hip, trying to stay cool while Ryan Strom continues to be an absolute force for the Rangers. Moving on with some more awesome trades that Gordon made while he was with the Rangers. I mean, how can we not talk about Adam Fox? Because just a couple of years ago, Gordon would trade two second round draft picks for Foxy Adam Fox who has been, you know, somewhat of a big deal over there. One of the best offensive defensemen in the NHL. He's already won a Norris Trophy and looks like he's hungry for more. He's starving for Norris Trophies, this guy. He loves it. He's hungry for more. So yeah, just another wicked trade for the resume of Jeff Gordon. Moving on again, we're about to take a look at one of my personal favorite trades that Gordon made during his time in New York when he acquired Mika Zibanejad. Because years back, Derek Broussard was a member of the Rangers and after putting up a 27 goal campaign in the 2015-2016 season, Gordon decided to ship his ass out of here to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Mika Zibanejad and a second round draft pick. Broussard was the oldest of the two. He would go on to spend a couple of years in Ottawa, mostly just spending his time fighting with Eric Carlson like a couple of schoolgirls, and he wouldn't really accomplish a whole lot later while Mika Zibanejad reached his potential and just started tearing it up in New York. So there you have it. Of course, there's more things in between all of this. I mean, we could also talk about the Rick Nash trade, which really set up the Rangers rebuild. And yeah, he's also made some moves that he would probably like to take back over the years. But all in all, he's got a pretty impressive resume. The guy definitely knows how to scout talent. And he's ours now, okay? He's a Montreal Canadian man. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited right now to see what happens over the next few years, especially with the draft picks with a guy like Gordon in the office. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this one. It was quite a bit of work putting all this together. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to throw some of these links in the description below to credit the sources of where I found the majority of this information. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Are you all aboard the Gordy train right now? Chugga chugga choo choo. Aww, I'll see you next time.